Nicholas Cage is a legendary actor, but on the internet, it seems like his face is more popular than him. There's a weird trend that's been going for a while where people just put Nicolas Cage's face on things. So, I'm joining in. I put a tweet out, I asked people to send me pictures to put Nicolas Cage's face on. First picture, Doom Guy, Nicolas Cage. So we've got Cage's face inside the mask. Let's change the colour of it, see if we can get it to look like he's in there. How's that? That's not actually too bad, looking at it now. Easy job. Okay, picture number two. We've got Tom Baker's Doctor and Nicolas Cage. The classic Nick Cage face, the one that's everywhere. It had to be done, it had to be done. <laughs> oh, I bet I could save myself all the trouble and just use like a face swap app now, because those things are uh, getting pretty sophisticated. What do we reckon? That's not bad, is it? Not bad for a quick job. So we had before. After! The colour is completely different, but because I've replaced the entire thing, you can't tell. As long as you match the edges, it's fine. Alright, that's another one done. Excellent. Okay, let's move on. So, next up... Shaggy! And, uh... <laughs> An another great face by Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage is... In my opinion, Nicolas Cage is a fantastic actor, but he's an even better over-actor. And that's where we get all of the amazing expressions of it because there's compl- uh, what is it? It's a, there's a video on YouTube called Nicolas Cage losing his shit. It's just all the clips of him going mad in films and it's amazing. <laughs> I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! How to get burned! How to get burned! Right, let's have a look at what I'm working with. <laughs> behind it. And another great expression, Matthew Lillard. Oh god, okay. I'm gonna go on a slight tangent here but this video, I feel like it's only not going to have much uh, in the way of sort of processes that are funny, so bear with me. So, I happened upon a film yesterday. It was a film called, I think it was Extreme Movie. Let me, let me just double check. Uh, yeah, Extreme Movie it was called. And uh, I went on it because it was like, it was said it was um, a sort of a, a, a jokey kind of like a spoof sketchy thing, but it was... Uh, one that was like a lot of adult humour, adult content. So I was like, oh, it's going to be a lot of sex jokes. It's going to be really funny to watch. And uh, the film itself was awful. Like the only thing that redeemed it for me, there were two things, two things that redeemed it. One of them was Kyle Gass, Tenacious D's Kyle Gass, being the sleazy porn director. That was a very, very welcome surprise. And the other thing was that Matthew Lillard was in it as himself, giving away sex advice. And this sex advice, sex advice was all terrible. And I don't know why he was in it. I don't know whether like they, they just wanted to get like a known actor and have them appear in that role. But he's just there. Oh, friends are playing Overwatch. What time is it? 107, 21 minutes. You know what? I'll do this one. I'm going to go and play Overwatch with them and I'll come back. That's right. I am going to bugger off and play a game halfway through my recording. Because I can't because it's my recording. Brrrr. <laughs> and you know what it's already perfect didn't even need to do much there was me putting effort in on the previous one and clearly all i needed to do was this uh i don't even know what i'm doing anymore in life lol this is not gonna work if this layer is <laughs> what is that <laughs> So, confession time, it's actually three days later, because apparently I'm just that shit. So where I last left you, I was finishing off this image here, which is Nicolas Cage's face on Shaggy. Okay, so to carry on, let's start with the next image we've got available here. Oh god. You know what? To do this, I need I need to put I need a costume change. One sec. There we go. Now I'm in costume ready. <laughs> I'm not I'm not quite match this. Right, so um story. I was throwing out clothes that I wasn't gonna wear anymore and I found this and I was like, I wonder what would happen if I cut the sleeves off. Would it make a cool piece of attire? So let me know. Does it look cool? And the story behind this, I actually don't remember where this came from. I think it might have been like I've done this thing with friends in the past and family where you have to go into Poundland together or any shop where everything costs a pound or a dollar, I guess, and uh, find the funniest gift. And I'm pretty sure this was one of the ones from that. 
So uh, it's not the right colour and it's not the right thing, but I think I'll match. Now it's my turn, so hang on. Oh, see, we're all we're all quarantined at the moment, so my uh, my neighbours on every side are probably going to be thinking, "What the fuck is going on in that flat?" Right, let's get back to the task at hand. So, this is the Nicholas Cage face I've chosen. <laughs> are we looking already? <laughs> oh man, it's not too bad. It's actually not that bad. Uh, quick job. You know what? I might just I might just speed through these. I think uh, since I've been putting this off for a while, I might speed through these and I'll get them up to my. Uh, Tomorrow, I'll get them up later. But yeah, okay. So we'll we'll count that we'll count that done. Uh, perfection. Okay, which one did I have next? Oh yeah. Uh, okay, and this is the one I've chosen. I believe from the Wicker Man. See, I know my Nicolas Cage law. Fuck it, that's fine. Not not the whole thing, obviously. Just just that little bit. <laughs> well, it doesn't look good. Uh. Let's just do it like this. <laughs> this is so fucking shit. Oh god. Okay. How are we looking? <laughs> Awful. You know what? It, it, it's fine. There you go. I was going to take this off after I'd done the uh, previous image, but you know what? I think I'm going to keep it on. Maybe I can make it my style. You know, every, uh, if you, everyone who's on YouTube, they've got to have a style, whether it's like if they've got the dyed hair or they wear certain like uniforms. I can wear a uh, checkered... Um, sleeveless shirt and a pink cowboy hat. Okay, next up we're going to be looking at the poster for arguably the greatest of uh, all Spider-Man films. Definitely not the worst Spider-Man film. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now the issue I've got here is the head is at a slightly different angle, so it might look a bit odd. But if I can cover up the original head, it may just look like he's turned his head around a little bit more than he should. <laughs> it's not in any way in the right place, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's that? It looks like I've given up, doesn't it? Right, we'll leave that one for now. We'll come to the next one. So, uh, next up <laughs> is this face. This is going to be incredibly, incredibly bright and incredibly blue. Uh, okay, there we go. That'll do for now. Nice little uh, blue tinge to make him fit in with the rest, <laughs> the rest of the video. <laughs> right, now we've got... The, I'll save the, the best one for last. <laughs> <laughs> it is at a different angle, but let's let's hope that doesn't have a too negative an effect. Oh man, it already looks so good. Let's be honest, most of the Nicolas Cage face pictures out there have exactly this much effort put in. Have you seen some of them? Oh, there you go. It's like, it's like it fits perfectly. <laughs> Fuck it. You know what? Screw it. What's next? Oh god, I forgot I did this one. <laughs> I forgot I chose one that had so many faces on it. Yeah, there's there's this, and uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six Nicolas Cage faces ready to roll. Okay, faces are in place. Let's get to work making them look like they fit a bit more. I'm going to do a time lapse for this one because it's going to take me a while to tweak all these different individual settings. I always talk so fast that I screw my words up. I'll time lapse this just so I can watch something on my other screen while I do it. Okay, so time lapse over. Now, I'm going to admit, this isn't my best work. <laughs> I had so many faces and so many ways to like, place to put it, and it was the colours on this poster are so light all over the place, and I don't want to spend my entire Friday evening doing this. So, voila. Let's uh, we'll take a closer look, seeing as we're uh, we're here already. <laughs> so, I I I tried to cut around the hair. Like, I don't know if the time lapse will see it, but I, hair is so fucking awkward to go around. And again, like I don't want to spend the entire day doing it. Uh, that one was easy. <laughs> this one, I wanted to keep Crichton's uh, like lines, the, the like the structure of the uh, the face, but. <laughs> I didn't know how to do that properly with uh, in like a short amount of time with Nick Cage, so I just cut his mouth, eyes, and nose out and just plopped them on there. And uh, yeah, another one that was fairly simple, just put the neck in there. This took me fucking ages 
because the face at the wrong angle, the colours were all wrong. And in the end, I just, uh, where am I? Here we are. I just <laughs> removed the face and just put that face on top and just added some colour to make it look like it was vaguely there. All in all, um, okay. So, the next up, uh, we've got adorable little uh, Detective Pikachu. <laughs> and an adorable little Nick Gage. <laughs> See, I don't know what to do because I don't know whether to try and make the uh, the the like the fur come through the face because it's such a strange picture to have to work with. <laughs> you know what? That'll do. It's funny. It's fine. So for the last picture, I'm going to thank Adam for submitting this picture for us. This here is a picture of Nisha. So I thought I'd do something extra special with this one, seeing as uh, Nisha is a friend of this channel. And uh, well, you know, he is Nick Cage from Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if anyone's not seen Mandy, I would highly recommend. I, it, it starts off super weird, but then it sort of takes a really, really sharp turn in a different direction. And uh, yeah, I mean, the way I usually sell it to people when I'm trying to explain what the film's about is that there is a chainsaw duel in it. <laughs> no, it's too dark. Oh, it's just getting worse and worse. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Nisha. I'm sorry that you can't be a perfect Nick Cage for us. You can, you can be close enough. That should be the caption for every bit of work I do. Close enough. So how are we looking at the moment? You know what? Better than when we started. Let's be completely honest. Mm. Mm. What's wrong? What's wrong with it? I mean, <laughs> is that really the most appropriate question? I reckon that'll do. I think we're at a point now where I can say it at least looks all right. Oh, what do you think, Adam? Let me know. Let's take a look back through what we've done today. I say today, over the past week, because I'm apparently that shit at working. So, image number one, with uh, Nick Cage, Doom Guy. The little green reflection-y bits here, I think, make a uh, make it look very realistic, I guess we'll say. Second one up, <laughs> we've got the Doctor. Okay, Shaggy. Shaggy looking uh, like someone's rammed something somewhere. And this one, we had a little bit of fun with this one, didn't we? I'm still wearing the hat, still wearing my uh, stylish uh, sleeveless shirt. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yep, okay. Uh, not really much to say about that one. And then here, what do we do here? <laughs> oh god, yeah! <laughs> that at least fits a bit, and then that one's alright because of the colour, but this is terrible. And then uh, the, the Red Dwarf one took, took me a, a severely long amount of time for the embarrassingly small amount of work it was. Uh, we have uh, Pikachu <laughs> looking looking uh, <clears throat> uh, cute. And uh, finally, <laughs> this one of Nisha. <laughs> well, it's taken me longer than usual to film this, and I know in me it'll take me longer than usual to edit it, so I, I hope I get this up on Friday the 3rd. If I don't, I'm going to leave this bit in so that people can have a go at me. Or, if I do, people can congratulate me. Mm. Speaking of having a go at, if you'd like to uh, suggest anything for future videos, or simply have a go at me, tell me that my style is awesome. That, uh, yeah, I could I could start a new trend. Oh, and Nicolas Cage, if you happen to be watching this, love your work. I hope you appreciated uh, how much fun people can have with your face. And feel free to follow me on Twitter and suggest an image for yourself. <laughs> Nick Cage is watching this shit.